you probably tried this before and this is a support lover and you tried shorting at this breakout but it just doesn't pan out price turn against you and you start to see your position in the loss at a fast explosive manner what really happened this is oil price is in an uptrend and you are going to continue this breakout trade because price had already closed above this resistant level and then you went on a buy you waited for a solid candle to close above it as what the youtube or the textbook told you but still it failed Hello, it's Bini here. Today, this tutorial is not to talk about how bad breakouts are, but just to share with you that breakouts that used to work very well in the past might not be doing so well right now. Reasons aside, um, there are two objectives that I want to cover here is that rather than to enter at the later time, would there be an earlier way that we can enter before the breakouts happen? So that's the first objective. Second objective is that if you should encounter any fake breakout, any false breakouts, then how can you counter them? rather than to cry over it then how can you make money from it all right remember to watch to the end because then i'll be covering the one pattern that i'm using to counter all this and to help potentially you guys to make more money first let's talk about what is breakout i have here which is a resistance zone that's your supply zone usually it means that there's a lot of uh, people who are looking to sell here but at this place price managed to overcome the selling pressure the supply and break out of the resistance so this is a successful break this is a uh, support zone that's your demand zone there will be a lot of uh, previous demand here that people are buying at one place that when the demand disappear and then the supplies become stronger all right so this is a place where this is a bearish breakout now as much as i can find valid breakouts that works very well i can find a lot of failed breakouts that doesn't work well for example so this would be your resistance zone and if you were to project and draw that there was a bullish breakout here right but soon after it failed or there will be things like this is your support zone which is a place where there's support you would expect thing that price would go up but eventually price breaks out and then after that it smooths up this is an example of price breaking higher. It's very obvious, you know, if you look at this line chart here, price is hitting an uptrend. However, let me just inspect the nitty gritty in this particular movement. Right, for example, this was a previous high and then this was another one high that's lower. We can see at this bar there was a bullish breakout. In this case, uh, a break of this structure high of course that you can buy at the breakout but you realize that every time there's this behavior after the breakout price will be traced price will come back down now same thing there was a bullish breakout here of this structure high and then what happened it would always come back down same here it broke and it came down and it broke and it came down now what am i trying to say here i'm trying to say that if you observe into the price movement you realize one thing you realize that price will always come down in a upward movement for you to buy at a low now if there's such things which is called to buy low sell high then this is it in an uptrend you wait for price to come back down to buy low in a downtrend you wait for price to go back up to sell high now this is the meaning here all right then how can you use this to change your mindset now this means that don't buy on the breakout Right. Every time when price breaks a new high, you use this as a clue to wait for that downward correction. When it breaks a new high, you know that a structure has been broken. You always, always wait for price to come back down lower. Your mindset is only if it can come down, then I will be buying. You will realize that by now, how do we use breakout? We use breakout to confirm a structure break. For example, we wait for price to break out of a structure high to say that, okay, we are going to look for long, but we will wait for price to come down lower, which is a change of mindset to only buy when price move lower. How do you know that this is the entry? This is the second part, which I want to talk about, which is about wash and rinse. That means we use wash and rinse to identify our entry when we confirm 
a direction. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? How do you enter on a fake breakout? Meaning that how do you make use of this fake breakout to your advantage? How do you make money off it? Now, if you look at what happens to a breakout, it means that it is a confirmation of a break of structure. For example, so this was a structure high, this breakout confirmed that a structure high has been broken and the movement should be moving up. It's just that you need to find the right moment. You can't just buy on the breakout. You need to find your right moment, then what defines this right moment. Now you observe that price will always come down. In when it's coming down, then the candles will make a lower low. All right, because that candles make a lower low, we mark this as two, and then this is one. Because two had a close lower than one, you are able to draw in a horizontal line, and we call this line a wash line. Now the wash line is seen as a divider that divides between the bulls and the bears. Now if price stays below the wash line, it means that the bears are in control. Control. Now, if price can goes above the wash line, it means that the bears will lose control, and whoever who shorted at the price that's below the wash line will be at the loss once they see that price is above the wash line. So let me just explain this in further detail here. So imagine that I have a price, two candles here, all right, and this is a divider, and this is like ten dollars. Here will be the high price of twelve, and this is a low price of eight. So high price of twelve, low price of eight, and ten as a divider. Imagine that price moved below ten, and you decided to go short. So this is your selling price. Let's say at nine ninety. Now anywhere that's below ten or trading at nine ninety or nine dollars or eight fifty, you will be in profit. Now what happened if price decided to move up above ten and to trade? At ten fifty. Now this means that your position that you have shorted at nine ninety, when price is trading at ten fifty, would be at a loss already. Okay, we all you shorted at nine ninety. When it goes to ten fifty, your loss would be about sixty cents. Now whoever who shorted below this wash line here at ten. That would be a place where they have been washed and rinsed when they see price eventually moves up. Now, in this case here, the point of price moving up above the wash line will become our entry. Okay, we would buy when price can close above the wash line, and we can only draw the wash line when price hits lower. Now, if you want to have a full tutorial of how this works, please refer to this video link where I explained in detail how wash and rinse work. Now, coming back to our chart here, right? It is the wash and rinse is everywhere. For example, at this place here, there was a bullish breakout, and price actually traded above the structure high. Now, in this case here, we form a mindset that it should be bullish, and we just have to wait for the right moment. So, what's the right moment? The right moment is to wait for a wash and rinse. Potentially, I'm just gonna mark this one and two here. Right, if two is below one. Yes, you can draw a wash line, but we don't see price closing above that. Now, can you draw between three and two a wash line? The answer is no. How about if I jump a little bit and I mark this as five, and this is a four? Now, can you draw in a wash line? The answer is yes, you can do that, but price hasn't closed above that, so there's no trigger. How about six and five? Can you draw a wash line? The answer is yes, because six closed lower than five. Right. And where is your trigger? We see the trigger as price closing above the wash line, which is essentially this candle. Now imagine that previously, if based on breakout, you will be buying around here. But right now, with wash and rinse, you are buying lower because of two things. One, you can only draw the wash and rinse when price move lower. Two, you only draw the wash and rinse when we see that the wash bar has been formed and the rinse bar has been confirmed. So we know that anybody who traded here or who decided to short here and bear in mind they shorted right into a support would be washed and would be rinsed when they see the rinse candle coming in.
right? We can continue to find a lot more wash and rinse is this example here, in fact, with, with the trade that we just traded. Now, same thing, there was a break in terms of this structure high here at this two candle. So this was the structure high. Now, what happened was price starts to retrace and if I have a draw in two and one, you find that two closes below one low and you're able to draw in the wash line and this becomes your entry. So you have a buy that's after a wash and means that means that people who decided to short at two find that when price moves up they are rinsed okay so these would be your wash bar this one would be your rinse bar now same thing here because this candle two and one two close below one and you're going to have an entry here all right and then at this place here now likewise this is the current trade on kiwi versus yen can i ask are you able to join the wash line the answer is yes right if i have two and then one here i'll be drawing able to draw in the wash line and there is still no trigger. If price continue to move down, I can continue to draw in more wash line and that means that I'll be able to buy at even a lower price. In this tutorial, I've illustrated a buy example. I will do up another tutorial where I show you a sell example. Right, I like to do my tutorial based on the most updated chart because it tells me that whatever that I'm sharing you with you today, it works and you're able to apply and find an opportunity hopefully in your own trade. Now, if you like this tutorial, please remember to subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more to explain how to use the wash and means. In other words, right, um, the alien wash. If you like to take my lessons, because I do have a paid lessons, and then this lessons has been some sponsored by a broker. If you like to take this lesson here, the full course on the Alien Wash, it is fully sponsored. That means that you don't need to really pay for the course fee. The full course fee is fully refunded. You can click on this link here that uh, lead you to download the free module and as well as for you to take the full module, which of course is payable, but you can have it fully refunded. If you enjoy this tutorial, please remember to give a thumbs up and let me know what you would want me to discuss so that I can put it in my tutorial here. Thank you and I hope that you enjoyed this lesson.